Top 10 Most Useless Mega Projects in the World When we think of the world's most useless mega projects, we can't help but wonder how they were ever approved in the first place. Construction of these projects was funded by billions of dollars and cost hundreds of thousands of workers their time and effort, but when they were finished, they were left to stand as testaments to human overreach and colossal wastefulness. Some might consider them useful due to the tourism revenue they bring in, but others will probably call them ridiculous wastes of money that should have been better invested elsewhere. Before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe so you will get notification for our new upcoming videos. Number 10. Sydney Opera House, Australia The Sydney Opera House is one of the most iconic buildings in the world, but it was also one of the most useless mega-projects. The project was over budget and behind schedule from the start, and the final product was plagued with design flaws. For example, the auditoriums had poor acoustics, the stage was too small for opera productions, and the building's shape made it difficult to heat or cool. Despite its many problems, the Sydney Opera House is still a popular tourist destination. Number 9. Rome Metro Sea Line the Sea Line of the Rome Metro was originally slated to open in 2007. However, due to a litany of issues including corruption, construction delays, and cost overruns, the line finally opened in 2014, seven years behind schedule, and it was a complete disaster. The Sea Line was plagued with problems from the start, with signal failures and overcrowding. In 2016, Things got so bad that the city had to bring in buses to supplement the metro line. Number 8. Tokyo Sky Tree The Tokyo Sky Tree is a 2,080-foot-tall broadcasting and observation tower in Tokyo, Japan. It cost $800 million to build and was completed in 2012. The tower is useless because it doesn't actually do anything. It's just a really tall structure that people can look at and it costs $2 to go up all the way to the top. There are better things you could spend your money on than this mega project. Number 7. F1 Abu Dhabi Circuit In 2007, Abu Dhabi decided to spend $1.3 billion on a new Formula One racing circuit. The track was designed by German architect Hermann Tilke, who also designed several other F1 tracks around the world. It's been called one of the most boring tracks in F1 history due to its lack of overtaking opportunities. Plus, it's located in a country with no racing heritage. Number 6. Toronto Waterfront LRT Station The Toronto Waterfront LRT Station is a perfect example of a useless mega-project. The station, which was completed in 2015, cost $919 million to build but it's only used by an average of 1,200 people per day. That's because the station is located in an industrial area that isn't close to any residential neighborhoods. And on top of that, it's only served by one train line. So unless you're working in the area or taking the one train that stops there, there's no reason to go to this station. Number 5. Millennium Dome, London, UK this massive, taxpayer-funded project was intended to be an entertainment complex that would show off Britain's Millennium celebrations. It was an embarrassing flop, though, and has been nicknamed the Millennium Bug. The project cost over PS 800 million, about $1.2 billion USD, and only attracted 6 million visitors in its first year. It was eventually sold for PS 105 million, about $160 million USD and is now used as an events venue. Number 4. Expo 2015, Milan, Italy A universal exposition, also known as a World's Fair, is a large public exhibition designed to showcase achievements of nations. They are held every five years in different locations around the world. The most recent one was Expo 2015 in Milan, Italy. It cost over $12 billion to build and ran from May 1st to October 31st. It was expected to attract over 20 million visitors, but only received half that number. Number 3. Boston's West Wing In the 1970s, Boston decided it needed a new highway to replace an aging elevated expressway. The proposed Westway would have been a six-lane underground freeway running along the waterfront. But after years of delays and cost overruns, the project was finally abandoned in 1982. Today, 
the site of the proposed Westway is home to a park and some office buildings. Number 2. California High Speed Rail Project In 2008, California voters approved a bond measure to begin construction on a high-speed rail system connecting the state's major cities. The project was supposed to be completed by 2020, but it has been plagued by cost overruns and delays. In 2018, the state's auditor estimated that the project would cost $77 billion, more than double the original estimate, and it's still not clear when, or if, it will ever be finished. Number 1. Spruce Goose The Spruce Goose was designed by Howard Hughes, one of America's richest and most successful business people. He started out as a film producer, but later branched out into aviation. The Spruce Goose was supposed to be able to transport five times more weight than any other plane of its size and serve as a troop transport during WW2. However, it was never completed or flown before WW2 ended. Over $20 million was spent on its construction, which meant taxpayers footed part of the bill for something that did not accomplish anything useful. If you are really interested in this video, please like the video and subscribe the channel share with your friends. We will come back in next video. Thanks for watching.